Nerisha Van Veik and Piwa Dopeni Adrian departed to the U.S. last Friday for the three-week training program. The two will engage with Americans and peers from other African countries to build a community of young leaders. The training will also focus on empowering participants with skills to enhance leadership in their communities of origin. Van Veik and Adrian were selected based on their academic performance coupled with their track records in getting involved with community issues. Both also serve on the Junior Town Council of the Kietmanswap Municipality and Council Public Relations Officer Don Crayer took the two through their pre-departure orientation. The municipality was approached by the U.S. Embassy um, late last year to nominate worthy candidates for this uh, uh, Pan-African Youth Leadership Program. And uh, I nominated uh, Paul Penny and Leslie Ann because they're in my junior town council and I found them to be uh, very responsible young ladies with, with consistent academic achievements and uh, very good leadership qualities as well as uh, involvement in social issues. The two told NBC News prior to their departure that they were overwhelmed by the opportunity. We are very, very excited to go to the United States. On our return, we will finish up a program that we would like to implement in our own country. Our message out to the youth is work hard. Let your academic performance be the key to programs like this. The program is coordinated by Meridian International Center, a Washington, D.C.-based non-governmental organization. Famous African leaders like former president of Tanzania, Julius Nyerere, were also among those who underwent grooming through the Pan-African Youth Leadership Program.